In the frozen wilderness of Siberia, something strange is happening. Global warming is a reason the Bata Gaika crater in Siberia is growing larger. It's also known as the gate uh, to hell. A massive growing hole in the ground, ominously called the doorway to the underworld, is expanding year after year. It's not just a hole, it's a warning. The ice under the ground melts, then the ground collapses. It happens everywhere. As the earth warms, this gaping wound is releasing ancient greenhouse gases, threatening local ecosystems and reshaping the landscape before our very eyes. But amidst all this chaos, scientists have also stumbled upon unexpected treasures buried in the depths of this growing abyss. Today we will dive into what this phenomenon is, how it started, why it matters, and what the future holds. What is the Doorway to the Underworld? The Doorway to the Underworld is the ominous nickname for the Batagay Crater, a geological phenomenon that scientists technically call a retrogressive thaw mega slump. Sure, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but the scale of this feature is just as colossal as the name implies. Spanning an astonishing 2.7 kilometers in length and nearly a full kilometer across at its widest point, it holds the title of the largest structure of its kind anywhere on Earth. At first glance, you might assume this vast scar in the Siberian landscape was left behind by something cataclysmic like an asteroid impact or a volcanic eruption. But in reality, there's nothing cosmic about its creation. This massive crater results from Earth's processes, supercharged by human activity. In a way, it's partly our fault. Situated near the small, remote town of Batagay in northeastern Siberia, the crater has been steadily growing since the 1960s. From above, its bizarre shape resembles a giant stingray, or perhaps a tadpole etched into the permafrost. Yet beneath this peculiar shape lies a deeper, far more alarming story, one of a landscape unraveling from the inside out. How did this giant hole form? To understand how this colossal cavity came to exist, imagine the ground beneath Siberia as a gigantic, poorly made ice cream cake sitting in the freezer for thousands of years. This cake isn't just frozen soil, it's a complex layered permafrost construction. Permafrost is ground that has remained frozen for at least two consecutive years, but in this case, it's been frozen for much, much longer. It comprises alternating layers of ice, sand, woody debris, and ancient organic material like pollen, insects, and peat. Over tens of thousands of years, sand from nearby floodplains drifted in and settled. Ice accumulated during cold spells, and vegetation flourished during brief warmer periods. These plants and tiny organisms became trapped in the frozen soil, forming a time capsule of Earth's past ecosystems. In the 1960s, Soviet workers cleared a nearby forest to search for valuable mineral deposits, this seemingly routine human activity had unintended consequences. Without the tree's protective shade and stabilizing roots, the bare ground was left exposed to the sun's intense rays. The soil began to warm and the upper layers of permafrost started to melt. As these layers thawed, they exposed darker surfaces beneath, which absorbed even more heat. This kicked off a dangerous feedback loop. The more heat absorbed, the deeper the melt penetrated. The once stable ground collapsed, the ice under the ground melts, then the ground collapses. It happens everywhere. Turning a small ravine into the sprawling, ever-growing Batagay Crater we see today. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Vicious Cycle of Melting what makes this situation especially alarming is how rapidly it spirals out of control, turning a small disturbance into a full-blown environmental crisis. Moving on, a latest study has revealed that nearly all of the world's glaciers are losing mass at an alarming pace. It starts with melting the upper layers of snow and ice, which usually act as natural reflectors, bouncing the sun's rays back into space. Once this bright reflective cover is gone, the darker soil underneath is exposed, Unlike snow, this soil absorbs far more sunlight, heating up quickly and accelerating the thaw of the permafrost beneath. But it doesn't stop there. Locked away in that frozen soil for thousands of years are ancient bacteria, lying dormant like tiny time travelers from Earth's distant past. As the permafrost thaws, these microbes awaken and get to work. 
They start breaking down the organic matter that's been frozen alongside their plants, animals, and other prehistoric debris. In the process, they release greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, both of which trap heat in our atmosphere. This extra heat feeds back into the system, causing even more permafrost to melt. Because the Batagay Crater sits on uneven terrain, much of the meltwater and eroded material drains away downhill, leaving behind a deepening and widening void. Scientists call this a self-reinforcing cycle, a runaway process that accelerates itself, making it harder to control with every passing year. Environmental Impact The environmental impact of the Batagay Crater is nothing short of staggering. Every single year, between 4,000 and 5,000 tons of ancient organic carbon locked away in the permafrost for tens of thousands of years is now being released into the atmosphere. To give you a clearer sense of scale, thousands of tons of carbon dioxide and methane are pouring into the sky annually, all from just one location. These greenhouse gases contribute directly to the warming of our planet, accelerating climate change. But the damage doesn't stop at the atmosphere. As the permafrost melts, the resulting runoff carries sediments, pollutants, and organic debris into the nearby river systems. This contaminated water renders the rivers undrinkable for the residents of Batagay, while also harming fish and other aquatic life downstream. As this sediment-heavy water continues its journey toward the sea, it chokes and clogs waterways, throwing delicate ecosystems into chaos. And unfortunately, there's no quick or easy fix. Scientists agree that once this cycle begins, halting it becomes incredibly difficult. However, there is a small silver lining. The crater's expansion may eventually slow as it approaches the natural barrier of bedrock. But until then, the Batagay Crater remains like an open wound in the earth, continuously leaking gases and water, a stark living symbol of our warming planet. How fast is it growing? So just how fast is this enormous crater expanding? The answer is alarmingly fast. If you could hop into a time machine and visit the area in the early 1960s, you'd only see a modest, unassuming ravine. But over the decades, that humble ravine has dramatically transformed. We can see crater canopy expansion in real time. Between the images from 2019 and 2023 alone, the edge of Batagay Crater retreated by approximately 53 meters. That's an average of about 12 meters every single year. Since detailed scientific monitoring began in 1991, the crater has lost 35 million cubic meters of earth and ice. Roughly two-thirds of this massive loss is melting ice, while the remaining third is a mixture of sand, sediment, and ancient organic material that once made up the frozen foundations of the land. There is, however, a bit of relief in sight. As the crater continues to grow, it's gradually approaching solid bedrock. Once it reaches this natural barrier, the collapse and expansion should slow significantly. But until that happens, the Batagay Crater will keep racing against time, deepening and widening with each passing year. The Silver Lining It's not all doom and gloom, though. Surprisingly, Batagay Crater has become a treasure trove for scientists. Each year, as the mega slump expands, it reveals new layers of Earth's frozen history. The walls of the crater, especially the towering 55-meter cliffs, act like a cross-section of time itself. Researchers can examine the ice structure, sediments, and organic remains layer by layer, piecing together a detailed climate history stretching over 650,000 years. The discoveries have been nothing short of extraordinary. Scientists have uncovered well-preserved plant material, ancient insects, and even fossils of prehistoric animals. Among the most famous finds, a 40,000-year-old foal so perfectly preserved in the permafrost that its skin, hair, and even muscle tissue remained intact. Another team found lemming remains estimated to be around 330,000 years old. There's a bittersweet beauty in this. As the climate crisis accelerates, it's also unearthing invaluable scientific data. Each new layer tells a story of Earth's past ecosystems, climate shifts, and the creatures that once roamed Siberia. For scientists, the Batagay Crater is like a window into a prehistoric world that gets clearer every year. The Future of the Batagay Crater So, what's next for the doorway to the underworld? Experts believe that the dramatic expansion will slow down 
as the crater reaches the bedrock at its base and sides. But even after the growth subsides, the crater will continue to serve as a living laboratory for Earth scientists worldwide. If you're fascinated by this story, you could join one of the scientific expeditions to the Batagay Crater. Institutes like the Institute of Applied Ecology of the North regularly send teams to study this evolving landscape. Just remember, you have to watch out for more than ancient creatures. Modern dangers still lurk. From bears and relentless swarms of mosquitoes to ancient microorganisms awakening from the ice, the crater is full of surprises. The Batagay Crater is a haunting symbol of our changing planet. It's where ancient history meets modern catastrophe, where each year reveals both danger and dearity. As the Earth continues to warm, Places like this remind us of the delicate balance we're upsetting, but they also offer a rare opportunity to learn from the past if we're brave enough to face it. So, as the doorway to the underworld widens, we're left to wonder what other secrets lie frozen beneath our feet, just waiting to be uncovered.